In this video, we're going to show how you can add and nest menu items. Here I have opened a brand new course, and here you can see a default menu showing. So let's go ahead and add some changes. Go to the Add and Arrange tab, and here you see a list of all our menu items at the main item level. So to add a new menu item, simply click Add New Item to Main Level. We'll select the menu item type, and then give it a name. And then we have the option to make the item gradable, hide it from the students, or to allow for submissions. So here my item extra credit is added to the list. Next, I would like to add some nested items to extra credit. To do that, what you'll need to do is actually expand extra credit. So to expand it, click the arrow icon right beside extra credit, and then you have the option to add new item to extra credit. So next, we'll select an item, and I'm going to make this item gradable and give it five points. And here you see practice quizzes is nested underneath extra credit. So let's add another item to extra credit. So we'll click again, add new item to extra credit. Select your item type. And let's go ahead and make this item gradable and allow for submissions. And now we see practice quizzes and short essay as nested items to extra credit. Close out of the window, and then you can see extra credit is listed in your course menu with practice quizzes and short essay. So let's go back and see how we can actually nest items to existing menu items in the default menu. Now what I mean here is, for example, doc sharing, email, collaborations are default tools but I like to group them underneath an item called course tools. So how am I going to do that? Well, first let's create a new item at the main level and we'll name it course tools. Okay, next we're going to need to take collaborations, email, doc sharing, and move them down to course tools and nest them. Now, at first sight, you would think, okay, just click Collaborations, for example, and move it down to Course Tools. But if you see, there's really no way to do that. Once you actually expand the arrow to Collaborations, you're telling the system, hey, I want to add a new nested item to Collaborations. But we, want, we don't want to nest items to Collaborations. We want to nest items to Course Tools. So to do that, we will actually select the expanded arrow for course tools. Then we'll go back up to collaborations and here you see some more arrows. These allow us for, uh, or, I'm sorry, these allow for us to move collaborations up or to move collaborations down. So let's go ahead and select to move collaborations down one level to the next position. And you'll see it now is below email and we'll click it one more time. And it moves below doc sharing. So let's click it just a couple more times. And there you see it's nested under course tools. So let's repeat the same process and select doc sharing and move it below extra credit and then move it below Course Tools. Then lastly, we'll do the same for email. Okay, and all of our items are now nested under Course Tools. Another shortcut way that you can actually do this as well is to enter new numbers in these boxes here, which determine the order of all the menus in the course menu. However, we'll go over that in another video that talks about ordering course menu items.
So let's go ahead and close out of this menu or out of this window. And here you see our new item, Course Tools. And if we expand it, we can see doc sharing, email, and collaborations.